everyone, this is Sir Matt, your virtual business teacher. So to those new viewers, please subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading relevant topics about business education and research tips para hayahay. So subscribe na, naunsa. So for today's video, we will talk about business research methods. And we will then differentiate what is qualitative research method and quantitative research method. So if you want to know what method you will gonna use in your paper, so sit back, don't skip, and continue watching. Quantitative research method. So this method deals with number and process the data using statistical, mathematical, and computational techniques. It starts with the data collection, then followed by statistical analysis. Under this method, researchers can do any of the following data gathering techniques. So first, survey. One of the most widely used methods to gather data and use its standard and market and make a sound decision. Researchers may use questionnaires, online polls, or online surveys. Basically, these are questionnaires distributed to the respondents either through written or online polls. For example, if you want to gather information about customer feedback on quality, quantity, delivery of time, and customer care, you, you may use surveys. Usually, naanas mga establishments kanang after ta mag-purchase, na ay maghatag ng feedback form, that is a form of survey. We should entertain that because they want to study the customer satisfaction so that they could improve their services. Correlational research The correlational method is conducted to understand the relationship between two or more variables to understand patterns, relationships, and trends. Generally, a conclusion cannot be made based only on our correlational researches. An example for this, if interesado ka to study the relationship between leadership style and organizational performance, or studies about relationship between mental health and job performance, that could be one of the examples of correlational researches. Next is the causal comparative research. Causal comparative research is based on comparison or a cause and effect relationship between two variables. It is also known as quasi-experimental research. There is one dependent and independent variables. The manipulation is not done but changes on the relationships are observed on the variables or groups under the influence of the same changes. Unlike correlational na they are studying relationship, the causal comparative is studying the cause and effect. Example for this effect is the effect of advertisement on sales. That could be a causal comparative research. Next is experimental research. Experimental research is based on theory. This method is used in business as it may lead to understanding behavioral traits of consumers leading to sales and income. So example of this, katong na study conducted to understand if colors affect consumers' hunger atong kagutom ba? A set of audience was exposed to a particular colors. So then the result shows that red and yellow increases hunger. Oh, that explains nga no ang fast food chains like McDo, oh my god, my personal favorite, Jollibee and other restaurants dominantly use red and yellow colors on brands, packaging, and interior designs because it affects the hunger of consumers. It attracts more eaters. Makagutom bitaw gyud ba? Samot makita tag red and yellow. Online research or literature search. Online research or literature search is the oldest method available which remain to be economical. Mm. The online search aims to gather information from online libraries, publish annual reports, and etc. This is more preferred by individual who wants to know information about a product or company usually done in marketing. In this method, care needs to be undertaken to validate online sources. Now let's tackle qualitative researches. So this involves obtaining data through open-ended conversation. This method enables researchers to get in-depth information on what the market thinks. There are various types of qualitative research methods. This includes but not limited to the following. Interviews 
interviews are more or less similar to surveys. However, the participants will answer open-ended questions. The length of the conversation depends on the response to a certain topic giving the researchers detailed information about the perception or opinion of a certain topic. An interview with an expert is also very useful in a company's decision. Example of this if you want to study the attitude of online buyers toward online selling. Focus groups. Focus groups are selected individuals who are interviewed to understand opinions and behaviors. Usually, a group of 4 to 8 persons are preferred to equally represent the targeted market or participants to discuss a certain issue, product, or service. This method enables a researcher to get varied opinions than in an interview or case study. For example, a focus group discussion of cellular phone company to understand dimensions, screen size, features, and colors preferred by the target market. Through this, the focus group discussion, the company can make wise decision in producing their new product. Ethnographic research Ethnographic researches are rarely used in business researches because of it is costly and time-consuming, but the results are precise. Researchers need to adapt to the natural environment and observe the target market to collect data. This method is best used to understand cultures, traditions, and challenges of a particular target market. Example, researchers are those related to production and financing of certain commodities, challenges, experience in transportation and delivery, etc. of a certain country or religion. So in this, the researcher need to live with the target market to understand their way of life and challenges they face every day. Case study research. A case study research is one of the most popular researches in business. This is done to assess customer satisfaction company profitability, personal management, and production of product or service delivery. It documents the challenges faced by a particular company or industry. Case studies are provided by businesses to new customers to showcase their capabilities and understand their weaknesses. For example, a company case study is conducted to a family-owned business in Alubihid, Misamis Oriental. This will help understand the sustainability of the family-owned business. The study can showcase the strengths and opportunities of the business and formulate strategies to outweigh its weaknesses and threats. The case study can provide possible solution to a certain problem identified and recommended some actions. Website Visitor Profiling or Research This method is also known as Website Intercept Surveys. This is new to the business sector. It is an innovative approach to collect feedback from the visitors of a company's website. Especially during pandemic, e-business becomes a trend. Therefore, it is important to gain sufficient understanding of the website visitors or potential customers. The aim of the research is to evaluate the visitor's online experience. For example, a prospective customer is looking for a particular product in a company website. He will be directed to a site and an intercept survey will start noting his intent and path. Once the customer's transaction is complete, an on-page survey will pop up to rate the website. We always experience that uh, when we go to other websites, then they mag pop up ng mga survey questionnaires. That is an example of uh, website visitor profiling or website intercept surveys. So, dili na siya scam. Survey lang na siya to evaluate the website or the services provided uh, by the website. So now, let us summarize the main difference of quantitative and qualitative uh, research methods. Quantitative allows you to test hypotheses, so you can expect data to be collected to be expressed in numbers and graphs. It requires large sample size and to be analyzed using math or statistical analysis. On the other hand, qualitative research allows us to formulate hypotheses. The data will be then expressed in words. Also, for only fewer sample size, then the data is then summarized, categorized, and interpreted. Now, you're wondering what approach you will use in your paper. 
kung sa kahagyud ba? So again, if you want to confirm or test theory or hypothesis, use quantitative research method. But if you want to understand and explore data or to get a deeper meaning ano gibyaan ta niya, char lang. Use qualitative approach. So that could be all for this video. So I hope you have learned something and I hope you have finally decided kung sa bagyod nga method yung mong gamitin sa mga research paper. So stay tuned for my next upload. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe ha! Naunsa! Bye!